stay here, but that will come in just a little bit as temperatures do drop below freezing. Let me show you how we've done for today so far. And the low temperature has been 32, which is our current temperature. The high temperature earlier this afternoon, 40 degrees. And so far, just one one hundredth of an inch of moisture out at RIC. Currently, it is 32 degrees. We do have a northeast wind at seven miles per hour. That's making it feel like it's 26. If you're out and about tonight, you'll have to watch out for some slick travel, but also take along the winter coat because it is pretty chilly currently and other temperatures around Virginia. I've now dropped close to freezing or a little bit uh, above in areas where the snow has been falling for a longer period of time. All right, let's get a check on temperatures over the next 12 hours. Once the snow ends, temperatures will plummet. The skies clear out, we're down into the mid 20s. That poses a problem for any untreated moisture. It will freeze up. There'll be some periods of black ice, some patches of that in the morning, and also some areas that do get a little coating of snowfall or more snow down to our south. We'll have some slick travel early tomorrow morning. All right, here's a look through our diamond cam. Snow continues to fall out there right now, and you can see that snow through the Richmond area. It's a little bit heavier over to our east and south, and in some areas it is mixing in with a little bit of uh, rain or sleet. It's not a s full snow everywhere around here. Everything is moving uh, to the east. Storm Rider 6 is in here. Let's get a check on the live look through Storm Rider 6 to see what road conditions are like down that way. And we're heading up 95 right now. Travel is good in terms of everything moving along just fine. And there is some snow there on both the median and on the shoulder. Let's head back over and look at the radar. Again, back to the west. Snow continues out that way as well. And all of this continues to move from west to east across the area. There's the back edge of snow. And again, still some upper level energy, so we'll still have some patches of light snow coming on through, even when the most consistent of the snow moves to our east at about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. Heaviest precipitation is down south, a good snow event from Charlotte up toward the Raleigh area. Winter weather advisory remains in effect for all areas in light blue, including the Richmond area. It's a winter storm warning south and east in areas that will get bigger snowfall totals. Those totals will be over two inches in some cases, one to two inches from South Hill to Petersburg over to Williamsburg an inch or less for the Richmond area over toward West Point. For more on your forecast to heading the next several days, let's get a check with meteorologist Mike Stone. Mike. Thanks a lot, Zach. In fact, this snow will continue pressing out of the area over just the next couple of hours. It's going to stay cold this evening, though, with temperatures near or below freezing overnight. The snow ends in the Hampton Roads area by about midnight or so. But even though we might not see a lot of snow across parts of our viewing area, it's going to be cold everywhere. So even if you have just some residual moisture on the roads, we will have some icy spots tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the low and mid 20s. Lots of sun tomorrow, but it's going to be cold. In fact, only low and mid 30s by noontime and an afternoon high in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. If you're going out and about tomorrow evening, temperatures will be falling through the 20s. And we'll wake up Saturday morning to some upper teens to around 20 degrees. And then Saturday, we get more of a southwesterly wind. Lots of sunshine. We should break 50 in most areas. We'll be closer to 60 as we get into Sunday. Sunrise tomorrow is at 652. It'll be around 30 degrees at 9 a.m., about 36 at noon. And then we're looking for that high of 40 degrees. Just enough of a northerly wind make it feel a little bit colder. But then after that, we're into the 50s this weekend, close to 60 Sunday. A little tiny dip Monday, but then we're back up to the 60s on Tuesday. And then a stronger dip as we get towards later next week. We'll be looking at some high temperatures then in the mid 40s. So the precip ends this evening. We'll dry out overnight. We'll have lots of sun tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. A chance of rain comes in Monday. Better chance of rain on Tuesday. And then once we dry out, we turn colder by Thursday.